guys. Welcome back to LS Vintage Design. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having an amazing start to your week. So today is Monday, new video. Oh, and on Friday, we're doing our last episode of Cooking Vintage till September. So be sure, we were supposed to stop in June. I totally was so busy with art and vintage design and just a lot going on. So our last episode is going to be in July. And then we'll kick up again and pick up again in September. But anyway, that's just an FYI. I will be posting on Instagram what we are cooking by Wednesday. Okay, so today's video though on LS Vintage Design is ideas for vintage items no one wants or you don't want to use it for what it was for. I've done these videos a lot and we're going to keep doing them because I believe that all vintage deserves a second, a third, a fourth chance. But it may not be for its original intention. So, let's just jump into this video and I'm going to give you some ideas. And the first idea is actually right here. And it's this tray with our aluminum drinks and pitcher, okay? We're not gonna use the aluminum glasses anymore for drinking, but it makes a great table decor for my long table. The tray is really cute. It's a 1950s um, Roadrunner. You, oh, I'll show you, hold on. You know, besides putting this on a table with stuff on it, I could also put a little... So just because it's a tray doesn't mean it can only be used as a tray. Again, this would make an awesome wall hanging, especially if you have a gallery wall and you want to add in something unexpected. Old trays like this are really good for that. And it's not very hard at all to add a little hook on the back. But again, I'm using it as table decor on my table, which I'll put a picture up there. And the aluminum glasses are beautiful. These would also look pretty if you had a bar area and you could put them on shelves with a glass back. You would get the beautiful color reflection playing with the light. So. That's also an option for those aluminum glasses. Something else you can do is turn vintage clothing. This is a vintage M61, M65 army jacket from the 70s and I used it as canvas. You could do this with old sweatshirts. If you have, even it doesn't even have to be old. If you have a favorite sweatshirt that gets a stain on it, you can tie dye them all, all the time. You can tie dye, it will hide the stain. Or you could create art and hang them up. So that's a great use for old or stained clothing. These are vintage, well, let's start. They're different things. Okay, this used to hold paper plates in the 70s. You put your paper plate in it and then you would sit outside or if you have a big family, sit in a chair and eat and it would keep your paper plate from collapsing. These are great for that still, but you could also use these as picture frames. You could put a canvas that you've painted on, cut it to fit, and use it as a picture frame. You could put it with your gallery wall as something unexpected, or you could get a bunch of different baskets, these little plates, put them all up, different sizes, different shapes, and make a gallery wall just out of a natural element like this uh, straw or rattan, okay? You can also use old vintage coasters or trivets coasters. Again, these are natural rattan fiber. You could also use these as wall decor. So you don't have to use these as baskets, as paper plate holders, as trivets. They have a lot of different uses. Again, as frames, how pretty would this basket, if you cut a canvas to fit, 
attached your canvas with your, um, oh gosh, totally went blank, with your matting around it, and this would look so cool. And it's something unexpected. That's the great thing about using items not as they were intended, because you're going to get a totally different look. You're going to get something totally unexpected. And you're keeping all these great things out of the trash, out of the landfill. Of course, old vases like this one from the 60s, they also make great just knickknacks around your home, which are awesome. You could also have a silk or false fake floral arrangement. Make it yourself, put it in here. It could be a candy dish. It could be anything you want it to be. If you're hosting a lot of baby showers, maybe you're an event planner to give it a different twist, throw in a little bit of vintage in your decor. You could put straws, you could put silverware wrapped in here. Whatever you want to use these things, think outside of the box. Now, not only is this a great real wood old vintage picture frame, but you know what? Maybe you don't need a picture frame this big. Use it as like this. Put it on your gallery wall. Put a photo that's already framed inside the vintage wood frame. It looks really cool, guys. And it gives your gallery walls a certain special, different look to it versus everybody else's gallery but maybe you don't have wall space for something this big. Then turn it like this, flat, put a board underneath it, put some handles and make a tray. It's great for a large kitchen island. It's great for if you host a lot of parties. This will hold a big popcorn bowl, plus a lot of drinks and candies. If you're hosting movie nights, especially outside, it's endless. Use your imagination. So guys, the last thing I want to talk about is vintage ashtrays. A lot of these are for hotels, businesses that don't even exist anymore. So if they're from your area, you could be like a historian for your area, which is really cool. But if you don't smoke, which I know a lot of people don't anymore, they don't have to be used as ashtrays, but a lot of them are very pretty, very unique. We use a lot of them for a coin, a coin dish, earrings, uh, trinkets. I keep the balls for the dogs, a bunch in a really big, unusual one on our dresser. So there's a lot of uses. You could use them to keep keys in, whatever. Think of them not as ashtrays anymore, but just little dishes. Okay guys, the last couple of things, if you have, if you find old magazines, old books like these that are very old, if you find old music books, anything that's paper, you know, pretty much people aren't going to read them anymore. Use them in crafting, use them, you know, for mixed media, use them to line cages. So there's a lot of use. Don't just throw them away. And lastly, back to the old fabrics. Cut them into strips, tear them up, use them in art. There's always a use for something, guys. This painting is going in an art show in Pennsylvania in September. Okay, guys, that's just some of the ideas to use vintage old items in new ways antiques in new ways just because they go from vintage to antique doesn't mean people are going to have more uses for them unfortunately so when you see something old and you like it but you think oh i'm not going to use that for that that's like outdated there's not even a use for it anymore think of how it fits in your life now thanks for being here today guys and remember on wednesday on our instagram i'll be letting you know what we are cooking on our last episode of cooking vintage on friday last episode for the first half of 2024 guys take care i'll see you on friday
Oh, and head over to our Instagram. Lots of great things over there as well. Bye.